Time to get back to horror. I have been on a Star Wars high for a while. As you can still see, it hasn't completely dissipated, but <laughs> it is time to return to horror with The Limehouse Gullum. This movie was fantastic. If you like that like murder mystery, Jack the Ripper, foggy London, you know, back streets type film like a From Hell or a, you know, a Perfume Story of a Murderer or a Raven or a Sweeney Todd, Demon Barber of Fleet Street or whatever. Obviously, you know, that last one is a musical. But if you like those types of movies, man, this is excellent. This is a theater quality film. Now, because it doesn't have like big box office draw type names, although Bill Nye has been in bigger budget stuff, obviously, with like Pirates of the Caribbean um, and whatnot, it just it didn't have that draw. And honestly, I think the name of the film hurts it. It doesn't sound all that intriguing, and no one really knows about this story. So I think that may have been what hurt it as well. But I am here to tell you, this movie is fabulous. Um, Olivia Cook is in this from Bates Motel. I love her, she's a beautiful girl. She's such a great actress and she brings her A game here. This is the best performance I've seen her give. And I've liked her in everything, even movies I didn't like. Like that freaking one, I can't even remember. I saw that in the theater, it was awful. It's like PG-13. Um, God, I can't remember. The only good part of that movie is that she showed her boobs for literally half a second coming out of the bathtub. God, I can't remember what that movie is called now. Anyway, um, it'll hit me later and I'll be like, you idiot. Um, this movie, what I think is really cool about this movie is that the pace of this movie is very urgent. Like it starts with a bang and it never lets up. Like it is always going. It, it, a lot of these films are just dialogue heavy and while this film is dialogue heavy it never felt slow or boring like some of these movies can it always had a sense of urgency to it it moved it, it just moved along at a very brisk pace and you know, it was like an hour and 40 minutes or something it just flew by and that also has to do with the fact that the movie is just super super well done the cinematography, the acting, the costumes, the set design, like you feel like you're, you know, in London during the 1800s. It's, it's very, very realistic. Um, and the performances by Bill Nye and, and Olivia Cook, as I had said, and the other people that are in this movie, man, all great. I really have like no negatives except for one of the characters Looked like he was wearing a pretty bad bald cap, but the more I looked at it, I was like, is that guy's head just weird looking? And that's not a bald cap? Because I, I couldn't figure it out. The, the uncle character, um, I, <laughs> I couldn't tell. I, I think it's a bald cap, but then when they'd show it out other places, I'd be like, I think that guy just looks weird. So I don't know. Um, and the way that they do the detective's uh, when he's reading the killer's words and he's um, you know, kind of thinking about what could have been, he like puts certain people in place that he thinks might be it in that moment. He might be the killer in that moment. The way that's done, the 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 sound mixing on that, you know, where the voice is distorted and and the vision in in the film is distorted almost like a dreamlike state it's really really cool really really cool every time it happened i just thought it was very unhinging you know it became unhinged or you know <laughs> unsettling i guess is the word i should use there but the dialogue is great it all feels genuine man this is an excellent film and I'm shocked that this doesn't get more attention. This should be, this will make my top 10 horror of the year easily. I just, I don't know why this isn't getting more attention. It's kind of a, it's a shame. Now this is the, this is one of the writers of uh, Woman in Black, the Daniel Radcliffe movie, which I thought was great. And uh, Kingsman, Secret Service, which is excellent, excellent movie. 
Um, and I'm not usually a fan of period piece movies because usually they're super slow and, and, and the dialogue is boring and that wasn't the case here at all. Um, and there is some seriously dark shit going on in this movie. For sure. This is, this is, this is a horror movie. Absolutely. Um, so God, it just, I really have nothing bad to say about this film. It, it's so well done. If you like those kinds of movies, and as I said, I don't even like these kinds of movies all that much. Some of them I do. Some of them I think are fantastic, but for the most part, I, I usually find myself bored. Um, so check this one out. Absolutely. If this sounds intriguing to you in the slightest, um, I didn't look into if this is a real killer. I have no doubt it probably is. Um, I didn't see like based on true events or anything on it. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure, but I'll definitely look into that more. Um, and, and the true story surrounding it, because I don't know if like who the killer ends up being or whatever is, is the same in history or if this even happened at all. I don't know. But all I know is it felt very real. Man, what an incredible film. What a what a wonderfully made movie. And what a fucking bummer that no one is talking about it. So if you check it out, let me know what you thought. Anyway, guys, it was good to return to horror after being away for a little while. So, all right. Till next time.